Hello, my name is Matt Nowak. I teach Principles of Biomedical Science at Zemmer, and I just want to share some information with you about our course. Uh, this course can be taken for a biology credit, so you can either take biology or you can take Principles of Biomedical Science to fulfill your graduation requirement. Now, if you look at what is the difference or why might you want to take Princes of Biomedical Science, um, just a few things. So just a little bit about the course and the overview. This course has a dashboard and students log into their PLTW site. Sometimes they do work right off of the PLTW dashboard. Sometimes they get a doc on Google Classroom to do. And I would say one of the biggest differences between this course and biology is there's a little bit more uh, activity with labs and higher level lab equipment that we deal with than biology, but also it is student centered. So it's not uncommon for me to have half the class ahead or a few students ahead working on the next assignment. So it's not like everyone is just sitting doing the exact same thing all the time. So there's a lot of different things happening in the classroom, a lot of differentiation because students move at their pace and we all end up somehow on the same page at the end of the unit. So if we look at our dashboard, we can see that we have four, uh, four units that we go over. And sometimes, like I said, the kids can click on and do their work in the PLTW. I would say I do use Google Classroom a little bit more than the PLTW site. One of the things with, with PLTW that does make it special is the labs that we do. And when we look at things that you get from the class, we can look at this page right here. So a lot of things that we deal with are, you know, processing and thinking, so designing, um, analyzing data. We do use a lot of different software and equipment. So we'll use some centrifuges, um, balances and measuring, microscopes. When we do our bacteria unit, we learn about aseptic technique. We also use an electrophoresis machine um, when we're doing that lab. There's some professional practices that we deal with also providing peer feedback, um, doing effective research, brainstorming, and summarizing and collaborating. Also some communication things, um, keeping a notebook, which is very important, delivering presentations, writing a lab report, um, kind of rounds that out also. One of the other things we like to highlight are different careers throughout the medical field. And there are a lot of them that are wound into our class. So when we're on the activities of the unit, we will discuss these like blood spatter analysis, um, analyst, excuse me. There are dermatologists. So we have a lot of different careers that we look at. And this kind of gets the students, especially when they're eighth grade or they're freshmen, thinking about, hey, that sounds cool. Maybe I won't might want to do that. Or I don't think I want to go to school for that long. So there are a lot of different careers, especially in the medical field, um, in with even with science, and even some in the forensic area too, because when our class starts out, we start based out on doing some forensics. So skills for success. So some of the things that uh, most of my students that are successful in class, these are some of the skills that they have. Self-reliance. So when we start a unit, basically the students are investigating, learning, um, researching, whatever topic that we're dealing with. So it's not like when I took biology, I would sit there and take notes the whole time and try to memorize everything and then put it together. So most of the time it is the students finding the information on their own. And then after a day or two, We'll have a discussion. I'll add some things to um, what they say during the discussion. Maybe give them some notes depending on the topic that, that we're dealing with. Communicating with others is very important. Usually the way in a normal year, 
our class is set up with uh, with groups and partners. So in the lab, they'll have their group. And when we're just in the classroom, they'll also have a partner that they're with. And being able to communicate effectively is, is very important. Troubleshooting with technology is very important too. We haven't had too many issues, but especially during this pandemic, we all run into that. Managing time is, is very important too. Um, I would say the kids that are not very successful in class don't manage their time well and aren't very self-motivated. So the students that tend to start falling behind and not being able to motivate themselves to do that research on the topic when, when they're given the time in class or homework at home, they, they struggle a little bit with that. So I would basically say that PLTW is exciting and it's different. It's different than our regular biology class. So things to think about if you're going to choose this class. It is more difficult than biology. It does take more time at home and it does take some of those skills that we, that we talked about earlier. So if you're thinking about taking this class, being self-motivated, being able to work individually and in a group are very important. But the challenge of the course is, is rewarding because you do get to work with some high level equipment, especially when we're doing gel electrophoresis and separating DNA strands and being able to interpret those also. So the, this, uh, this class is different in that way. Also, it's different from biology because there's different scenarios that we're looking at. So we start out with gathering our information and then kind uh, trying to solve problems with that information that we've gained, kind of like an open-ended question. So we're bringing like the engineering practices, some of those into our class also, and problem solving, working with a, a group and trying to figure out how can we fix this problem or what can we add on to, to this to make it successful. So for the most part, the work is a little bit more, but uh, the students really enjoy taking principles of biomedical science. My name is Matt Nowak. You can email me at mnowak at lapierschools.org if you have any questions. And I hope you have a wonderful day.